It is time for the main event of the evening for the WBO World Light Flyweight Championship. Donny Nietes, champion from the Philippines, makes his third title defense against Sammy Gutierrez from Mexico. The tail of the tape shows that Nietes is three years older than his opponent and has an 11 centimeter reach advantage. Let's go to our ring announcer, Rico Navarro. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. From the Araneta Coliseum in the Philippines, Pinoy Pride 23 presents your main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Light Flyweight Championship of the World. And now let's meet the challenger. To my left, fighting out of the blue corner in gold and black. He weighed in at 108 pounds, his record. 33 wins, including 23 by way of knockout, 9 defeats, and 2 draws. He's currently ranked number 14 by the WBO. Fighting out of Mexico, please welcome Sammy Gutierrez. And now let's meet the champion to my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver and purple. He also weighed in at 108 pounds. His record, 31 wins, including 17 bar way of knockout. Only one defeat and four draws. Tonight, he makes a defense and looks to last one of the longest reigns of being a world champion from the Philippines, the fighting pride of Murcia and Bacolod City. Please welcome the WBO light flyweight champion of the world, Donny. Ahas Nietes! This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization. Supervising the bout at ringside is Leon Panoncillo. Your judges, Attorney Dan Rex Dawson of the Philippines, Jack Reese of the United States, and Levi Martinez of the United States. And here with his final instructions, our referee, Celestino Ruiz from the U.S. Gentlemen, I gave you guys your instruction in the dressing room. I expect a clean fight. First form, protect yourself at all times. Benilo en en el camerino. Tiene una pelea limpia y protejase por tiempo. Let's touch up. Vamos a tocar. Let's touch up. Good luck. Twelve rounds scheduled for the WBO World Light Flyweight Belt held by Donny Ahas Nietes from the Philippines. Against Sammy Guti Gutierrez from Mexico. And you know, Donny Nietes has to start out strong here, send a message to Gutierrez. Gutierrez, a former uh, WBA world champion, one division down. Gutierrez, also a God fearing man. But in the ring, I think he's got to learn to fear Donny Nietes. Donnie is, of course, a two-division world champion. And after that majority draw in his last fight against Moises Fuentes, he wants to show that he is the clear and dominant winner here to be able to get that rematch. Oh, yes. And he said in the press conference that he's treating this as a tune-up fight. But, of course, he has to treat it with a lot of seriousness because he has to win convincingly to get that rematch True. in March. Yeah, this. Again, making his defense, he, he's earned the right to make his defense here in the Philippines. He's, you know, won and defended his uh, title previously in Mexico. Won, uh, I believe, his second title on a mountaintop in open air. No Coliseum, just a crowd of hostile Mexicans watching that fight. I remember that. That was a while back. 
and he showed his durability by being a champion for the last six years in two yes. weight classes. Guti Gutierrez is coming oh, from a loss. Good left uppercut by Nietes. Gutierrez lost his last fight against Raul Garcia, and that was last year in 2012. He hasn't fought yet this year. There could be some signs of rust there. And aside from that, you know, the, the, it's hard to get your power back when you're not in the ring as much. It is quarter till midnight in the Philippines. <laughs> but who's counting? Man? Hello to all of you watching in Nicaragua, Mexico, the United States, and Japan. And we wouldn't, we wouldn't uh, rather be anywhere else. Donny Nietes. Early attack Early from, attack from Nietes. Nice right straight away. Oh, down. Down. That's, That's a knockdown. knockdown. And he looks at his corner who, who tells him to take the, take the eight. Take the Give yourself time to recover. Time. Yes. Early aggressive fighting. I was going to say that Nietes has been in the arena since 6 o'clock. So, but he's kept his energy yeah, and he comes charging sure forward. Making sure that Gutierrez is okay. Good uppercut, good knockdown. combination. He goes down. Second knockdown. And yet he can't keep counting unless Nietes is in a neutral corner. Boy, that is working fast. It's a pa in the crowd Cinderella. shouting, it's a pa. He wants to finish before midnight. <laughs> Isapa means one more. Filipinos want another knockdown here in the third inning. Nieta is trying to finish him off. Ten seconds left in the round. Boy, he's Gutierrez hammering him in the corner. The and Gutierrez survives a ferocious first round. We were saying Nietes has to be impressive. Certainly impressive in that first round, scoring two knockdowns. Donnie Nietes, the Filipino. And if you're a good cherish, you're saying, I got to go through 11 more rounds of this? Woke up the crowd. That's for sure. Well, we had a really action-packed fight in the previous one. And there's it's, let's watch those two knockdowns again. Here's that, the first that one. That right hook that right. got him. We followed it up with a shot to the main section. Yeah, just really walloped him to the ground. He got caught coming off the ropes and boy, Donnie just wailing away. Beautiful start. It's just what he needed for this fight I so early on. Not that he's looking past this fight, but he may be imagining he's fighting Fuentes already. Second round. Gutierrez now chasing and Nietes emboldened. Nietes, 31 years of age. Six-year champion. You see, the bad part here is Gutierrez has his head down, so he might, you know, throw a couple of low blows. Nietes popping him with the left, and those uppercuts are doing some serious damage. You know, Nietes told me he was working on his power in this training camp, and it's sure showing here as the Mexican hugs a little bit. Hasn't fought in almost a year. Crowd loves the action. But he is a former world champion. Dude. He's fought world ranked boxers. Yeah. So, you know, you can't discount him. Known to be a. That was a low blow fighter. there. You know, just, just off the hip of uh, Nietes. Again, he's got his head down. Yeah, he keeps his head down. Right when in he's got range. his head down, he's ripe for an uppercut. Yeah. Let's see how he responds after suffering two knockdowns in the first round. Well, he's charging the head, you know? He's known to be a charger. God, chanting Nietes' name. Nietes. For uh, viewers in other countries, Ahas means snake because Donnie was a caretaker for the snakes in the Ala stable. He has three pet snakes yes. and he used to bring one to the ring all the time, but he said it became trouble traveling, so yes. he kept them at home during his fights. A lot of venom from Nietes. Yes, good shot to the body there. The challenge is an easy target because he's just charging ahead. Sometimes blindly, not much uh, lateral movement. This is our final fight for the evening. We've had a lot of action tonight, Diane. We've, all the fights have gone the distance. Let's see what happens here. Um, good popping left by Nietes. Oh, another solid right from Nietes. To the um, chin. Nietes getting tagged quite a lot. It's just coming forward. 
Mm. Mexican corner urging him to. Nieto has his timing down pass. Tagging him as he steps forward. Wow. He's, he's actually looking at the waist and the footwork. Good uppercut by Nietes. Amazing. Nietes unloading. And he's not even going to the body anymore. No, he's going for the he's head hunting. Seconds in the second round. Gutierrez has got the phrase Jesus de Amo in his shorts with a couple of verses. So maybe that will uh, keep him from falling on his Sean rear. Yeah, and he can fall in other directions too. crowd really enjoying this fight had a satisfying first two rounds round two boy th that's Strong right right from yet this there he goes There's again another one. oh he would love to win by KO that would certainly make a statement oh a strong uppercut as well but Keras retaliates with a left hook Oh, a lot of muscle there from Don Inietes. There's one of the ABS-CBN executives, March Ventosa, enjoying the action here at the Araneta Coliseum. This is the third round. World Championship fight. The belt is held by Don Inietes from the Philippines. So the far, challenger is Sammy Guti Gutierrez from Mexico. So far, commanding performance by uh, Nietes. For the World Light Flyweight Belt. And we are being seen live in Mexico. Yeah, that's very disciplined, not taking unnecessary risks. Jerez? More aggressive in yes. this third round. He knows he's Gets behind. hit still. Seriously behind. Oh, look at that jab by him. Then he mixes it up. Is now using more of the ring. You know, when he said he was working on his power, he wasn't kidding. Yeah. He's, he's very quick, too. He hasn't <laughs> lost his speed either. He's bulked up a little bit in his upper body just to get some more muscle strength there. Donny Nieto is one of the most disciplined and hardworking fighters of the Alas stable. That is true. A good role model. So kind and gentle outside the ring but takes his job very seriously well, has to figure out a way to trap Nietes somewhere perhaps in a corner he can do some, but his, his punches are all you know, inaccurate they're so, they're all targets so far. Ooh, I felt that one there's that jab again by Nietes Throwing uh, Gutierrez off. And then Donnie changes it up. He uses the jab, then he throws the right yeah. on its own. With the entire weight of his body, right hook. He's bludgeoning Gutierrez in this round also. But true to his reputation, Gutierrez still aggressive and busy, but the net is getting the better of him. He's losing his balance quite a bit. Just hitting to abandon, like it's like make or break. break. Gets hit again with that jab. Look at how hot me at this is, you know. 31 years old, champion for the last seven, six years in the lightweight division. Flashy uh, Lorde. Was world champion when he opened Araneta Coliseum. Oh! And left by Donnie, that stunned him. Oh, oh popping down. right. Another knockdown here in round three. Mexican on his knees. When he get up, he looks at his corner. Oh, they the stopped the fight. They the stopped fight. the fight. He was dazed. He was glassy-eyed. And, you know, saving for further damage. 
So Nietes gets that convincing win that TKO. he wanted. Third TKO. round TKO. For Donnie Ahas Nietes. He must be really happy with that win. And, and of course, what a way to end the night. Great victory by Donnie Nietes. Let's go up to the ring and make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the official time at 2 minutes and 58 seconds of the third round. The winner by technical knockout and still the WBO light flyweight champion of the world, Donny Ahas Nietes. Donny Nietes, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up, more action. Milan Melindo versus Jose Alfredo Rodriguez for the WBO International Light Flyweight Championship on BN Sport.